Welcome back to A4A2 Media. Today we are going over how to render your project and export it to your media files. So initially there are three steps to set up a render job. First, you want to go to your render settings, set up your parameters as needed. And then two, you want to go to your timeline panel to determine the duration of your render. And then three is adding to a render queue so that you can actually put it into the render job file. So um, this will actually place your project in the render queue, which is right over here, these three steps. And so let's begin. First, you want to go to your render settings, which is this top left corner right here. And then you can actually see that there's a lot of industry standard presets that we can choose from. We can choose to, for YouTube, for Vimeo, Twitter, Dropbox, even Final Cut Pro and Premiere, depending on whether you're working with a um, group that is working with Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, you can actually export it to these softwares so that your colleagues can work on the same project as well. So let's go to the custom uh, exports. And as you can see here, there are many different options to choose from. However, we already have a video on that. So if you want to check out uh, what presets you need uh, for your custom export, you can go check that out. But for now, uh, to continue this video, let's just uh, go to file right over here. And you can give this project a name. Uh, if you already had a name for it in the timeline, you can just choose the timeline name. But we're just going to give it our own custom name. And then you're going to want to set up a location. So you're going to go to, um, you have the name. Where do we want to set this up? We're going to go breezy. And then we're going to save it. Perfect. Now that we saved where we want this video to end up in on our desktop, we can actually go to uh, rendering. And as you can see right here, it's set to render entire timeline. So step two is completed already. And then we can just add to render queue, which will bring it to jobs in queue. So let's press that bottom left corner. And now we have brought this project into the render queue. Now all that's left to do is to click this render all button. And now you have your project rendering and it will save onto the file that you uh, had a preset earlier. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.